Hi, welcome all. Let us today study uh, the derivation of Gregory Newton Newton forward interpolation formula. So this is a part of a a topic in your second chapter, numerical methods. First of all, what is finite difference? Basically, numerical method is a technique of solving a mathematical problem using the data, numerical data, and not with an analytical equation. So basically, there are two methods in mathematics. One is called as the analytical techniques, and the second is called numerical methods. Analytical technique uses a theory or an equation or a formula and to so and, and it solves a problem. Whereas it doesn't use a numerical data. But in numerical method, using a available data, numerical data, we try to find out or try to estimate the unknown value of y for a known value of x. So that is what we call as numerical method. So basically it deals with the variation in a function. So what is a calculus of finite difference? That is a important that plays an important role in numerical methods. The calculus of finite difference play, deals with the variations in a function when the independent variable changes by finite values which may be equal or unequal. In this section, we shall study the variations in a function due to the changes in the independent variable by equal intervals. Numerical method le pradana patta oiru bagamana calculus of finite difference. Oiru function independent variable x adu equal or unequal ayit marumbol adil adu kundu undaguna function de maatangale numerical derivative First of all, what is a finite difference operator? Let us say y is f of x is a function, is a discrete function. So this is a discrete function. In the original continuous cell, all point is all. X zero, x zero plus h, x zero plus two h, etc., x zero n h are the successive values of x. X in the values, the discrete points are not available. It is when two consecutive values differ by a quantity h, then the corresponding values of y are y zero, y one, y two, etc., up to y n. The value of the independent variable x is usually called the argument, and the corresponding functional value is called the entry. The argument and entries can be shown in a tabular form. X is zero, x is zero plus h in the variety. The x in the values in the corresponding it. The number y zero, y one, y two, y n. Again, y values under independent variables in the values in the variety. The pairana argument endu. Adu bolle functions. Y value in the way on entry in the bar. We table the number can answer the game either a discrete function either under Chella X points illa X point values in the aula Chella X points in the mathram a Y values in the available all. So e table in the number can answer the game argument and entry argument is X. So the first argument is X zero and the corresponding arc entry is Y zero. So what is Y zero? It is nothing but F of X zero. Similarly, the next argument is x1. So, since I told you this is a section we, we deal with the equal intervals of x. Up x0 will end them x1 get them. x1 will entry on y1. y1 in the bar in the f of x0 plus h. Up function remains the same. Our function like x0 plus h add it all. It would then y1 get them. Add the argument x2 on x2 x0 plus 2 h x0 is the starting x value so if we add 2 h that is the step size h into 2 you will get x2 because all the points are separated by equal distance so x3 is nothing but x0 plus 3 h the entry will be y3 is equal to f of x0 plus 3 h similarly 
the last point xn is equal to x0 plus nh and the corresponding entry is y n is equal to f of x0 plus nh. So this is what the basic uh, table of a discrete function. So now uh, let us uh, come to what you understand by forward difference. So now how to find the forward difference? So if you subtract from each value of y, the preceding value of y, we will get for example, I am uh, subtracting y1 minus y0. I am finding y1 minus y0. So then I subtract y2 minus y1. So I will make y3 minus y2. y4 minus y3. So you subtract a value of y which uh, from uh, what the preceding value. So you subtract the preceding value from a next value. So that is called as first difference of y. So these first difference are denoted by delta y0, delta y1, etc. up to delta yn. For, so for example, so if I ask you what is delta y0, you have to say y1 minus y0 is called delta y0. If I ask you what is delta y1, it is nothing but y2 minus y1. So a, number, a y value and then minus of the previous y value is called the first difference. Now what is the uh, operator, the first forward difference operator? This delta is the symbol that represents the operation of forward difference and this is called as first forward difference operator. So you can uh, represent generally delta y i is equal to y i plus 1 minus y i. So i plus 1 is nothing but the y value, a particular y value minus which is corresponding to i plus 1. So i can be some integer and minus y i that represents to the previous y value. So now i can de define the second difference. So the first difference is nothing but the difference in y value. So the second difference is defined as delta square y0 is nothing but delta of delta y0. That means it is nothing but delta y0 uh, delta y1 minus delta y0. So this differences of the first differences is called the second difference. So if I ask you what is delta square y0, you should say it is delta y1 minus delta y0. So but delta y1 is nothing but y2 minus y1. Then what is delta y0? That is y1 minus y0. So delta square y0 will be nothing but y2 minus y1 minus of y1 minus y0. So that will be y2 minus 2y1 minus uh, plus y0. So you can express the second difference in terms of the y differences of uh, y values. So basically it is defined as the second difference is nothing but the differences of the first difference. So if you subtract uh, first difference with the preceding value of the first difference, you will get the second difference. So that is what you call as the second difference operator that is delta square. So delta square y1 will be nothing but delta of delta y1 that is delta of y2 minus delta of y1 so what is delta of y2 that is y3 minus y2 delta of y1 is y2 minus y1 so delta of y uh, delta square y1 will be y3 that is delta y2 minus delta y1 delta y1 is y2 minus y1 so that will become y3 minus 2y2 plus y1 so similarly you can find out delta y delta square y2 delta square y3 like that you can find so this is what we call it as the second difference so why i am finding all these things is because i am going to do numerical differentiation so what is numerical differentiation you are di differentiating a function not by using a equation or a formula or an analytical method so you have you are doing mathematics in a different way and that type of mathematics is called as numerical math methods mathematical methods so you can differentiate uh, a function, it is not a function, basically you are differentiating a, uh, using a given value, a set of values and you are finding the different derivative at a particular value of x using the numerical value. So similarly you can find the nth uh, uh, second forward difference operator. So second forward difference operator is delta square y n, that will be delta of delta y n. You can write it as delta of yn plus 1 minus uh, delta yn. Delta of yn plus 1 minus delta yn. So that is the general 
uh, expression for the second forward difference operator so in general you can think about third forward difference operator that will be delta cube yn that will be delta square yn plus 1 minus delta square yn so that can be again written in terms of delta yn and that again can be written in terms of yn so in short you can think about n nth different nth forward difference operator so delta square cube yn delta raised to 4 yn delta raised to n yn so delta raised to y uh, n yn will be nothing but you can just say that delta uh, n minus 1 y k plus 1 minus delta n minus 1 y k so here what i am doing is when i speak about delta square y n i was thinking i i told that it is delta of delta y n delta of delta y n that means delta square y n is nothing but delta of delta y n so then that, that means i have uh, uh, subtracted one degree that is i am finding delta square but i am saying delta of delta y n that is power is one so here i i want to find delta n y k so delta n y k will be delta n minus 1 y k plus 1 minus delta n minus 1 y k so that means you are finding the differences of the uh, n minus 1th difference that means the difference of n minus 1th difference is the nth difference so nth difference operator is the nothing but the difference of the n minus 1th difference operators so that is what the general term general form of the nth forward difference operator so in this all these operators can be put in a table so you can see in this slide you can see i am putting all the uh, uh, difference operators in a table so in the first uh, column you can see the argument argument is nothing but the x values so it's a discrete function so only at a certain intervals we have the x values because it is not a continuous function so the separation or the step interval is h so first point is x0 so similarly it goes on and the second thing is y that is the entry entry is nothing but you have to put the value of x corresponding value of x in the function that you will get the value of entry and then the first difference operator is nothing but the differences of y value and the second difference operator is nothing but the differences of first difference operator similarly it goes on so if you want to find any column you take the differences of the previous column so just take the differences of the previous column you will get the particular column so now what i am going to do is using this difference the, you need this differences operator difference operator values these uh, uh, difference operator values can be used for integrating numerically now again we come back to the interpolation so interpolation is basically a technique of obtaining a value of a function for any intermediate value of the independent variable for example i am having x0 x1 x2 x3 and i told you x1 is nothing but x0 plus h what is x2 x0 plus 2h so like that it goes on the arguments we have a discrete set of arguments so correspondingly i am having the values of entry so that means y is equal to f of x now i want to find a value of y for a x value but that x is not in the table so that means x0 after x0 it is x1 so i want to find x0 plus h by 2 that means in the midpoint of x0 plus x1 that is not in the table so if i want to find out the value of y you can you can choose any value of x that is your choice because it is your control because the independent value is controlled by the user so the system will file evaluate the value of the uh, entry based on the value of the independent variable so now if i want to find the value of x 0 plus h by 2 that can be done by interpolation so now if i want to find the value of the function outside the given range that is called extrapolation so i am having a range of x that is x0 to xn so that means the first point is x0 the second point is x1 that is x0 plus h the third point is x0 plus 2h like that it goes on and the last point is x0 plus nh and you want to find a value of y for a given x which is 
inside your range that means in between x0 and xn and that what that is what is all called as interpolation suppose i am want i want to find out the value xn plus h by 2 or outside the range of x then i call it as extrapolation so now by simple substitution what we do is we have to get a polynomial in the last class we studied using a polynomial i did the interpolation and the interpolating polynomial can be uh, uh, you have a lot of coefficients and you you know how to find the value of coefficients and find the coefficients can be expressed in terms of the given data values so the differences in data values are used to find out the coefficient of the polynomial and that is what we call as polynomial interpolation or the polynomial is called as interpolating polynomial and this process of find, using of interpolation by using a polynomial is called as polynomial interpolation suppose if i have a trigonometric series i that is fx is a finite trigonometric series then i call this process a trigonometric interpolation so usually the polynomial interpolation is preferred due to the reason that they are free from singularities and you are easy to manipulate a polynomial you can differentiate a polynomial you can integrate a polynomial compared to the trigonometry so that means uh, so i told you what is the finite difference that means first the first forward difference second forward difference like that i told you and now i am going to use this uh, in this process of interpolation so we are going to derive that interpolation formula so let let me start uh, and this formula is called as gregory newton forward interpolation formula so uh, the requested uh, things are information are given to you first of all you know what is difference formula difference operator what is first difference operator second difference operator how to find that and what is interpolation what is extrapolation with this information and you know what is a polynomial interpolation and in the last class we studied how to use a polynomial and how to find the coefficients of a polynomial in terms of the data points now we are going to derive this gregory newton forward interpolation formula we start with a function it is a discrete function as i told you they are the values x0 x1 xn corresponding values of y we have the again the step interval xi is equal to x0 plus ih so all these things are to you already so now i start with the general expression of a polynomial any polynomial can be expressed in terms of a uh, sum of uh, terms that is sum of terms having the first term is a constant term without a variable independent variable and a, and a product of a coefficient and a variable and a coefficient and a product of two variables like that you can say that yx is a function so you are expressing any function in terms of a polynomial it is possible any function in the world can be expressed in terms of a polynomial so uh, uh, how will you write a polynomial polynomial uh, has a general form that is a0 is a constant term. you can put any term a0 is a constant a1 x1 minus x0 uh, x minus x0 a2 x minus x0 x minus x1 a3 x minus x0 x minus x1 x minus x2 plus a4 x minus x0 x minus x1 x minus x2 x minus x3 so like that it goes on the last term will be a n x minus x0 x minus x1 etc etc x minus of x n minus 1 so this is the the starting step that is we are started with a polynomial and that polynomial is what we have written here so the next step is you are on to find the coefficients of this polynomial that is equation number one in terms of the data points that means the data points are x not the data points in terms of the differences difference operators so i told you the first difference operator is delta y0 so what is delta y0 y1 minus y y0 so what will i do i just put the values of first point that is x i know the value of x0 and y0 so i put the value of x0 y0 what will happen is all the terms all the third terms all the terms from the third term will vanish off because x minus x0 is 0 because if i put x equal to x0 all the terms will vanish subtract uh, will vanish so only thing left out is uh, the first and the second term that means a0 plus a1 into x minus x0 will remain so uh, i mean sorry uh, if i put x equal to x0 the second term also vanish so only the left out is 
a0 so the value of a0 is nothing but y0 similarly i got the value of a1 that is if i put the value of uh, x is equal to x1 i will get the value of a1 so that means x1 minus y1 minus y0 by x1 minus x0 that is delta y1 delta y0 by h similarly i can find the value of uh, uh, a2 and finally uh, generally i speak i find the value of a3 that is the coefficient a3 that is delta q y0 by 3 factorial into h so i uh, now i am i am taking a general point x that is x minus x0 by h is equal to p that means i take a point i take a point x and i am finding the i want to find the value of the y at that point x so x minus x0 by h is p so what will be x that is uh, ph plus x0 so equation 2 is re rewritten in terms of p so what will i do is i just replace x minus x0 by h is p so i'll write p into delta y0 and uh, delta y0 delta square y0 into p into p minus 1 by 2 factorial and then i write p into p minus 1 p minus 2 by 3 factorial into delta cube y0 and in general term will become p into p minus 1 p minus 2 etc p, p minus of n minus 1 by n factorial into delta n y0 so this is what I called as Grigory Newton forward interpolation formula. So why I am calling this as an interpolation formula? Because see, I am finding the value of y at a given value of x. See, I don't know the y, y value at that x value because I have only x0, y0, x1, y1, x2, y2 like that. So these discrete points uh, x, I have only the discrete x values and the corresponding y values. But in between, uh, I choose one x value and then I found the value of y for that x value. So that means I am finding the value of y at a x value and then I am expressing that x y value in terms of the data available. That is the available data is x0, y0, x1, y1 and the differences of the y and the p value so p value can be easily find out so this is what uh, what i call as gregory newton forward interpolation formula